Hi, I'm Alan Redinger, author of Speed Vegan, a collection of recipes that anybody can do in 30 minutes or less. I'm going to show you how to make miso red curry slaw. Basically, it's like anybody's cold slaw with chopped vegetables, but it combines miso, which has a lot of probiotics, it's a delicious, beautiful way to eat, and red curry, which is a Thai preparation. I'm mixing them together with some other things, and you'll see how good it is. It's made with fresh ginger, which I'm going to slice to make it easier for the blender to do its work. Just because it's so fibrous. If you don't chop it a little bit first across the grain, you end up with a lot of fibers. So we're going to do that real quick. And into the blender it goes. Then I'm going to add a Thai red curry paste. If you've never seen it, it comes in a container like this, sometimes a smaller one, but look for red curry. And you want to look, read the label because a lot of them have shrimp paste in it. So read the label, get one that doesn't have shrimp paste. This is the mellow white miso. A couple of tablespoons. This is about five tablespoons of fresh lime juice. And Four cloves of garlic. With any luck, this will blend. I'm just going to scrape down the side a little bit first. Okay, now it's a nice smooth paste. And then with the motor running, I'm going to add a little almond butter. And then I'm gonna follow that with some flax oil. This is actually a blend of flax oil and other oils that uh, give you a combination of omega-3s and omega-6. If you've read my other book, which is Omega-3 Cuisine, you'll know about this oil, Udo's Choice. All right, here we go. Looks like it's done. Okay, that's the dressing. This is about the only slaw thing that people will recognize. It's red cabbage. You quarter it, take out any tough core it might have. And then I would cut it manageable pieces like that. And then cut it across, really thin. Some people like to grate it, but I think it looks better if you cut some thin little strips. Okay, this is the red cabbage. Then some grated carrot. And we're going to slice the scallions at an angle. Two reasons, they look nicer and then they don't roll off the board. And then we're going to slice some green peppers 
I quarter them first and then stack them on like this and then makes it easier to slice. Some cilantro and some fresh basil. And we're just going to cut it coarsely because it's part of the salad. bean sprouts and some macadamia nuts and again I'm just going to chop these very lightly you can use cashews you can use peanuts but I like the macadamias because they're buttery and they go really well with this okay Leave some nice big chunks. So then we will add the dressing. That's about all I'm going to get out of there. Toss. It's good if you have a bigger bowl. All right. Now I'll just make us one serving here. Red curry slaw. Miso red curry slaw. And just for the topping, just a little more scallion. I roll the scallion a little bit so that you're getting thin slivers instead of the cross section. Like this. And there you go. Miso red curry slaw. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this. You can get this recipe and many more in my book, Speed Vegan. The beauty of this book is you'll be able to make anything in 30 minutes or less, and it'll be beautiful, it'll be tasty, and even your non-vegan friends will love it. At the best bookstores in town, look for it.